Tim Keller um, uh, outlines this passage. He said this basic passage basically divides into three sections. He said verses 7 through 13 are going to describe a battle that you can't win. Verses 14 through 25 describe the battle that you can't lose. And then verses 1 through 6 is going to give you an analogy that shows you how to make the transition between the two, between the battle that you can't win and the battle that you can't lose. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of follow that general breakdown of the, of the passage. I'm going to read verses 1 through 6 first simply because they come first in the chapter, but I'm not really going to comment on them until the very end because they're, they're really just Paul's answer to the dilemma that he sets up. Paul tells us about this battle within, one you cannot win and another one you cannot lose. That's really the two points of the message today. There's a battle you cannot win, Paul says, and there's a battle you cannot lose in Jesus Christ. Now, verses 1 through 6, we'll come back to at the end to show you because his illustration makes a bridge from those who cannot win the battle to those who cannot lose the battle. And that's where God wants you and I to be. And John Newton is expressing this as the pastor, and he says, here's my conclusion. My conclusion is that growing in grace in this life means getting, we think, excuse me, He said, I always assumed that growing in grace meant that I would get to a place where I no longer felt like I needed that much grace. He said, what growing in grace actually is on this side of the resurrection means growing in our awareness of our need for grace. In fact, if you want to write this down, these are my words, but I'm summarizing what he says. Growth in grace means growing in your awareness of your need of it, not getting to a place where you no longer feel like it's necessary. Whatever my struggle with sin is, I I want you to look at this statement. Growing in grace means... You grow in your awareness of your need for grace, not that you've arrived at a place that you will no longer need grace. It's important we define growth. 